We're in the market for a classic handmade boat that was popular on the waterways here in western New York way back in the 18th and 19th centuries. Well, you're in luck. Mike Randall tonight shows us where you can have one built. They hardly ever build them like this anymore. But when they do, it takes a lot of lumber and plenty of patience. A labor of love. More than 40 volunteers started building this Durham-style boat named the Erie Traveler back in October. Well, this is a mock-up of a portion of a Durham boat. Project supervisor Chris Anderley did the research, created some plans, and set up shop at this boat builder's paradise, the Buffalo Maritime Center. There are plenty of projects to work on here at the Maritime Center, but Chris says a lot of the volunteers are gravitating toward the Erie Traveler. Quite a few of them come in once a week and they're shocked every week to see how quickly it's going. It's been a learning experience for the volunteers. Some of them, according to Chris, have never even used tools before. The other day I saw one of the people who didn't know anything when they came in was actually teaching one of the newer people how to do something. Commissioned by the Locks Heritage District Corporation in Lockport, the boat will be used in the restored portion of the historic Flight of Five Locks. Rehabbing the flight and making it operational again gives us an opportunity to tell our story better um, and bring more people here. So it's just a great uh, heritage asset for us to be able to capitalize on for the betterment of our city. With 2,400 man and woman hours invested and eight tons of lumber, the big question is, will this 51 and a half foot creation float? Uh, we're hoping. <laughs> they expect to deliver it to Lockport in mid-May, but if they're done a little early, they just might take it for a well-deserved maiden voyage. Borrow some oars here, and we're going to row it down to Canal Side for a couple days before we take it up to Lockport. In Buffalo, Mike Randall, 7. Eyewitness News.